Hey guys, Peyton Snayback here again, and already, yes, for another, um, Goosebumps Books Diggins, um, yeah, um, and, when was the last time I did this video, like, like, these kind of Goosebump things, it was like, on Saturday, I started the book on Monday, and I finished it two days later, so, yeah, <laughs> but, um, but this is number 27 out of 62, um, so the next book I'm, I'm going to be reviewing about this week is, um, A Night in Terror Tower. Um, alright, and, yes, there was, they did make this one into an episode as well, um, and, and I know, um, and this, this book, um, has 33 chapters, and yeah, and a 33-chapter 33, 33 book, and I, and I got it done in two days, that's crazy, I know, but, um, Anyway, um, and the book, I, I thought it was okay, but I, I think the only thing I liked about the book was, um, how it, it explained, you know, um, um, everything about what was going on, you know, I think that was the only thing I liked about this, but, um, but the book and the episode, it's, they go, like, sort of, like, the same route, there is different things that happened, between the book and the episode, but what what it's about is it's about um the, these two kids are a brother and sister um, named Sue and Eddie. Um, they're visiting London and um I think they're they said something about their parents. They're at this meeting at some kind of like hotel or something, and um they end up going on um a tour group where like you know all these people they go to like these mu museums and um. They end up going to a museum called Terror Tower, and um, and Sue's character, she's like, um, you know, everything's just so familiar. Why is everything so familiar? And you know, when there's like weird things going on in the tower, first like there there's a man um, in a black cape and a dark or a, in a black hat, and um, basically he's chasing after them, saying, "You will come with me now. You know why I'm after you." you know what's going on, and they're confused, like, who the fuck is this wacko, and, you know, and, they don't, and, you know, and suddenly they forget their memory, they can't remember their last name, they cannot remember what their parents looked like, they can't remember anything, so, you're, so it's basically like, what is going on, like, are they just going cuckoo, or what, and, but it's, it goes, it goes really crazy, this book does, but, um, but it, it was still good. I kind of like the book, though. I, I really like the episode better, though. I mean, because, you know, and the book, and, and, yeah, the book was okay. I, I just, the only thing I really liked was, like, how it, it explained everything that was, like, confusing from the episode more. Cause some of the Goosebump episodes, you get a little confused by them, but, um, it's like, you have to watch the episodes first, and then read, if you read the, it's like if you read the books, it just gives, it just explains more, you know, because that's what this book did, um, but, okay, um, the differences, but, okay, in the episode, um, they first, um, they, they meet the black cage to die, um, by seeing him, um, they, they thought he was some sort of wax figure. That's how they first came up. Well, that's how they first see him at first. He doesn't come across them yet. In the ups or in the book, um, he's like some, he's like pretending he's part of the, um, part of the tour group, and, you know, and he's a, he was being creepy in the book. He was, like, he just kept staring at them, at the kids more. Um... Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, there, there was not really many things that were different. There was only, there was a couple things that were different. I'm 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 thinking. I I like the thing from the episode, you know. In order, that's okay. Oh, okay. I think they were talking about the stairs. I remember something about the stairs. Well, in the episode, the 
the stairs they had railings on them. It did, they in the book they said it didn't have any of the railings at all. Um, I win the episode, the scene when they're getting chased by the man um, in the sewer. In the episode, he's like he's screaming because like bats are attacking him. In the book, he's getting attacked by rats. In the episode, um, the security guard. The one that was like, what are you doing in the sewer? If you ever seen the episode. Well, in the episode, the dude was basically kind of a dick. And he was like, you know what? I think you guys are breaking in. I'm calling the cops on you. In in the in the book, he was more of a nice guy. He was like, I'll call a taxi for you. Um, um, I, think, I think in the episode... The, the hotel that they that they go to to try to check in, it, it had a different name. I forgot what it was called. It was like the Ball Moron, or no, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't called Moron, but I don't know. I, I have to watch that episode again. But it was, I think on this, I think in the book they called it the Barkley, like Andy Barkley from you know Child's Play. Bark, yeah, Barkley. Called the Barkley. All right. Um, okay. In the episode, the scene where they go to the um, the hotel, they go to the front desk, dude. Well, wait. In the book, they they go up in the elevator and they and they discover that the room is like empty. They don't go to the elevator in the episode. All right. But in in the, in the episode. The room number was fourteen fifteen. In the book, it was six twenty six. I believe. Uh, I don't remember. I think it was six twenty six. Yeah. Um, all right. In the episode, the guy was like. Um, well, the guy was basically more of a an asshole. In the um, the the Clark guy, hotel Clark. He was he's basically more of an asshole in the in the episode. In the book, he was more of a help helping guy. Um, but in, in all right, but in the episode, he um when he um the kids find the um the taxi driver. And they go into the restaurant and they hide from him. In the in the book, the, the clerk, the hotel clerk, suggested they go get some to eat while they figure out where their parents are, and stuff. And then they discover the um, taxi driver coming into the um, the restaurant. In the episode, when they they get um, the taxi driver catches them, they they end up going into the kitchen. Or the hotel kitchen. In the book, the taxi cab driver doesn't catch them at all. They just, and they they don't go into a kitchen. They end up going to the um, what the hell was it? Some kind of like hallway or something. I don't know. But um, all right. But in 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 the episode, when they go back in time, it's only only Sue is ends up going back in time. Eddie is nowhere to be found. In 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 the book, Eddie ends up going along with her, and then he's like he basically disappears. Um, I remember two more. There's two more things I remember. Um, okay, in the episode, um, their death sentence was supposed to be. I think they get their head chopped off. In the book, it's they're supposed to be smothered in their um in their cell. Um. Now, and I, now in in the in the episode when they were back into the future, it was the Mr. Star, Stark guy, you know, for, um, that was supposed to be um, that finds him. In the book, it was some lady who's like in her twenties that finds him, and that's pretty much all I remember. So um, yeah, there was a lot of, I guess you can say it was sort of a lot of differences, but um. Yeah, but that was all. Um, 
that was my review for um, Goosebumps Book 27, A Night in Terror Tower. So, um, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later with, I believe, the, I know there will be a Homicide Hunter review sometime, probably tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow, and a South Park review tomorrow, so stay tuned for those videos. I'll see you guys whenever.